Good morning, friends. Welcome back to our little classroom. We are going to get started right away into calendar time. So, I want to know if anybody knows what day it is today. Today starts with w w w Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, right here. If today is Wednesday, that means yesterday was t -t Tuesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. So tomorrow will be th Thursday. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Let's look at our pattern. Do we remember it? Umbrella, umbrella, rain, cloud. Umbrella, umbrella, rain, cloud. Umbrella, umbrella, rain, cloud. Umbrella, umbrella, rain, cloud. So what comes after our second umbrella? Hmm. Rain. Good job. All right. Who remembers what month it is? Remember, it starts with an A. Hmm. April. This month is April. Stand up. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, then you turn around. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, then you turn around. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, October, 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 What's the weather like today, like today, like today? What's the weather like today on this Wednesday? So today is supposed to be sunny. Move our little star so it says sunny. We'll put this back and we'll sing our sunny song. Sunny, 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 it is sunny in the sky. S-U-N-N-Y, sunny, it is sunny in the sky. So, it is supposed to be sunny. And it's not supposed to be really cold. But it's also not supposed to be very hot or super warm. So today it's going to be a little bit just cool. So we don't need a winter jacket today, but probably a light spring jacket maybe. And hopefully we won't have to wear boots outside and we'll get to go out in our tennis shoes. And maybe in the afternoon we won't need gloves. We'll see. All right, now remember, we are putting three names in every time we sing it, all right? Some friends will be moved over and those friends that are at school still, they'll stay in the wish you well heart until calendar time at school, all right? So let's pick We'll do Ada, Zane, and River first. Hello, Ada. Hello, Zane. Hello, River. We're happy that you're safe. 
safe. All right, now let's do Abigail, Avery, and Kana. Hello, Abigail. Hello, Avery. Hello, Kana. We're happy that you're safe. Now let's do Aurora, Adelaide, and Benson. Hello, Aurora. Hello, Adelaide. Hello, Benson. We're happy that you're safe. And we'll do Rhett and Kinley and McKenna. Hello, Rhett. Hello, Kinley. Hello, McKenna. We're happy that you're safe. And our last friend that's at home is Layla. So we'll sing for her three times and she's our only friend left. Hello, Layla. Hello, Layla. Hello, Layla. We're happy that you're safe. And we have Jocelyn and Everett and Gabe, Rowan, Zoe, and Jake that we'll always keep in the wish you well heart till we see them again. All right. So yesterday, does anybody remember what the book was that we read yesterday? Have you filled the bucket today? Now, we're not going to reread this book today, but we're going to talk a little bit about it. So, I want you to think of some ways that you can be a bucket filler at your house. Now, we always think of ways to be a bucket filler when we're at school. And some ways to be a bucket filler at school is saying kind things to a friend, like, oh, I really like your shirt today, or you are so funny, you always know how to make me laugh. Another way of being a bucket filler is being a helpful friend. If you see that somebody dropped their pencil box on the floor and their markers and their crayons and everything went everywhere, what do you think you could do to be a bucket filler? I think you could probably offer your help to help them pick it up. That would be very, very helpful. Another way, hmm, let's see, in the classroom, we could be a bucket filler by letting somebody go in front of us in line. Because when we line up to go somewhere, are we all going to the same place? Yes, we are. So it doesn't usually matter who goes first, who goes second, or fourth, or fifth. And if you let somebody in front of you in line, and because you got there at the same time, instead of saying, I got here first, you can say, you can go in front of me. We got here at the same time. That would be putting drops into somebody's bucket. Ways that you could be a bucket dipper in the classroom would be making fun of somebody like oh look at their shirt that is so ugly i really don't like that shirt would that make somebody feel good or not so good probably not so good and then you dip into their bucket and that's not good we want to be bucket fillers not bucket dippers what how would you be a bucket dipper when somebody dropped their pencil box and everything went everywhere? If you were a bucket dipper during that time, you might walk away and not ask them if they need your help. You might laugh at them. You might walk by their pencils and pens and crayons and markers and kick them. Ooh, that would be really dipping into somebody's bucket. I know that would make me feel awfully sad. So, 
I want you to think about how you can be a bucket filler at home. And maybe some ideas on what is being a bucket dipper at home too. And think to yourself, hmm, I think I've been dipping into mom and dad's bucket. Ooh, I might be dipping into the kitty's bucket. Maybe I should fix the way I'm acting around them. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you get frustrated and overwhelmed and you might not think about being a bucket dipper or a bucket filler, but you can always go back and try it again a different way in a bucket filling way. So I want you to talk to mom or dad or sister or brother and tell them what it means to be a bucket filler and what it means to be a bucket dipper. And I want you to give them two examples of each. So tell them two ways you can be a bucket filler and two ways you can be a bucket dipper. Okay? All right. See you tomorrow.